Okay, my next Hardy-Weinberg problem is talking about a population of pea plants. It said there's, there's 990 plants that are tall, 10% are short, and it wants us to find the allele frequencies. In other words, it wants us to find the percentage of the alleles that are dominant versus recessive. Okay, hopefully you're thinking to yourself, well, a pea plant that's tall could be tall because it's homozygous dominant, or it can be heterozygous. And there's no way for me to split up this 990 to tell me which what amount falls into each group. So let's focus on the short plants instead. I know for sure that the 10 short plants must have the genotype of being homozygous recessive. And from my variables, I can pick out that Q squared represents the percentage of the population that is homozygous recessive. So Q squared, to get started, is going to equal 10 those are the short plants, over my total of 1,000 plants. If I write that as a decimal, Q squared equals 0 .01. To find Q, or the percentage of the alleles that are recessive, I'm going to square root both sides. So square root Q squared to get Q. Square root 0 .01 to get 0 .1. 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 equals 0 0.01. So the first information given in the problem is the percentage of the population that's homozygous recessive. From that, I could determine the percentage of the alleles that are recessive. Okay. My first Hardy-Weinberg equation was P plus Q equals 1. So hopefully you're saying, well, if Q is 0.1, then P must be 0.9. This tells me that 90% of my alleles in this scenario are, are dominant, with only 10% of my alleles being the recessive. Okay, it doesn't ask us to do this in the problem, but just to get extra practice, let's go ahead and figure out what percentage of the population is homozygous dominant. I'm going to abbreviate homozygous recessive and heterozygous. Okay. okay, thinking back to your alleles, the allele that represented the homozygous dominant portion of our population was P squared. The, uh, the term that represented the homozygous recessive portion of our population was Q squared. And the term that represented the heterozygous portion of our population was 2PQ. Okay, going back to our first group, we know P is 0.9. If we square it, we get 0.81. That tells us that 81% of our population is homozygous dominant. Q squared was really given in the problem. So once again, Q squared is 0 0.01. Or in other words, only 1% of our population is homozygous recessive. Now our last category, heterozygous. I can either go back to my equation, p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals 1. And I can think to myself, OK, I know p squared and I know q squared. So if I add those two up and subtract it from 1, I'll get my third category. Or I can do 2 times p times q to get my heterozygous individuals. Okay, so 2 times P times Q is going to equal my last category. My last category is 0.18. In other words, 18% of my population is heterozygous. Okay, so I can check myself 0.81 plus 0.01 plus 0.18 should all add up to 1 because these three categories make 100% of my population.